shopkeepers was up against mailed mounted knights of the finest army in Europe. So, who would you put your money on? If you bet on the French, you lost. The Flemish peasants carried the day. In the right hands, the Gottendag is indeed a fearsome weapon. But there's only one sure way to win against a plate of knight. This is where it all began, remember? Before we had the arsenal of weird weapons, our team would have had little chance against this armoured knight. But now, against three knights, with a little help from the Godentag, the Flail, the Crow's Beak, and a few friends, well, it's hardly a fight at all. Our team have learned how to win against the armoured knight. But all the weapons we've seen in action have one thing in common. No matter how weird and wonderful the weapon, what matters is the man behind it. There was a time, deep in history, when early man began his dominance of nature. What separated us from all the other animals? What protected us from wild beasts and from each other? What single factor helped us not just to survive as a species, but to triumph? You may not like the answer. Weapons. Now we have to find out how our primitive ancestors beat the odds in the battle of the species. We'll learn how to win with Stone Age weapons. All right, guys, Sean, if you come over here, Kristen, over there. Here are two magnificent specimens of the human animal, right? But you have very few advantages compared to other animals. Size, you're not big enough to scare them off. Speed, you can't outrun them. You haven't the strength to fight with them. You don't have sharp teeth or claws. You don't even have a shell to hide in. Physically, you are completely useless. But what have you got? Brains. Well, some of us have more than others, but yeah, brains. And our ancestors used their brains to make two vital evolutionary advances. One was to use fire, the other was to use tools, and some of the earliest tools were weapons. And our challenge is to learn how to win with Stone Age weapons. And when we've gained some knowledge, we're going to use that knowledge to go out hunting, all right? So I'm going to send you out there now into the wild, and I want you to find some natural materials to bring back here and to make weapons with. To be honest, we've given the team some modern hatchets and saws to do the job. After all, we need to squeeze several hundred thousand years of progress into a single 30-minute time slot. Most of our team have gone for the first weapon of all, the wooden stick. It seems simple, but not any old stick will do. Early man was forced to assess which kinds of wood were better than others, and just how he would use his new weapon. If he chose a straight piece like this, he'd have a light and handy weapon. But for hunting and killing, he'd need something heavier, preferably with all the weight at one end. Now, this would be good for clubbing and also for throwing. And it's mainly throwing weapons that our team are collecting. Of course, man's brain allowed him to do more than just pick up sticks off the forest floor. Our team's brains are serving them likewise. Using the simple tools we've given them, they are modifying their finds to make what they think will work as weapons. Early man did the same thing using stone tools. It simply took him longer to finish the job. OK, so here we have an entire arsenal of the earliest, most primitive weapons. We've got a lot of different sorts of clubs here. Here's a weird-looking one. Whose is this? I can say with confidence that our team is at least on the right track. Some of their found objects seem wonderful for bashing. What a horrible mind you have. There we have the basic bone club. Others are clearly intended to cut and stab. There's this, which was just picked up off the ground. Um, this is, I don't know, a jawbone or something. And there's one over here which was clearly made by a sadist. <laughs> <laughs> Who's responsible for this? That would be me. <laughs> OK, I'm going to have to keep out of your way. Got a nice sharp point there. The problem is you've made it out of dead wood. That's going to snap in no time at all. 
Now, we have to start using our brains because our survival as a species depends on us getting these weapons right. So, let's pick up the weapons and go and find a target and see if they work. Here we go. We are ten paces away from our target, which is made from a couple of hay bales covered with animal hide. We are pitching our clubs and spears to see what kind of damage we might have done to a real animal at a time when our ancestors defeated.